Hi, this is Tao from National Taiwan University. I'm here to present our work Semi-Supervised Learning for Multi-Speaker Text-to-Speech Synthesis Using Discrete Speech Representation with Yuan Ji Chen, Alexander Liu's collaboration, and Professor Hong Yi Li's supervision, we propose a semi-supervised learning framework for multi-speaker TTS. Recently, TTS systems achieved promising results in a situation where a lot of high-quality speech plus their corresponding transcription are available. Typically, to obtain a TTS model of good quality, it needs more than 20 hours per year data. However, the Boreas pair data collection process is time-consuming and expensive. Hence, it prevents many institutes from building multi-speaker TTS systems of great performance. So, can we just use one hour pair data to train a TTS model of good quality? The answer is yes. By utilizing unlabeled audio data in the proposed semi-supervised learning way, we can use only one hour pair data to build a TTS model whose output quality is comparable with the fully supervised baseline, which is trained with 25 hours pair data. So, how to use unlabeled audio data to train a TTS model? In supervised learning, we input phoneme sequence and speaker ID to the TTS model, and we encourage the model output as close to ground truth audio as possible. In the view of deep learning, we represent phonemes and speakers by vectors. For those representing phonemes, we call them phoneme representations. And for those representing speakers, we call them speaker representations. Now that we have a bunch of unlabeled audio data, if we can somehow turn audio into phoneme representations, then the audio can be used to train a DTS model using reconstruction loads in an unsupervised learning way. In this paper, we propose a semi-supervised learning approach which uses both supervised and unsupervised doses. The proposed framework Multi-Speaker Sequential Representation Quantization Autoencoder is designed according to the mentioned idea. In this framework, an audio can be reconstructed in two steps. In step one, the audio is turned into phoneme representations. And then, in step two, the model reconstructs the audio based on the phoneme representation and the speaker representation. Now, let's show how to turn audio into phoneme representations. In step one, we first perform phonetic clustering, where each audio frame is assigned to a cluster according to its sound. In our framework, there's a learnable codebook where each codeword corresponds to a phoneme. We use an encoder to encode input, and for each frame, we replace it with the closest one in the codebook. After this operation, the output vector will have only finite outcomes, and each outcome corresponds to a phoneme. To turn frame label sequence into phoneme label sequence, we merge consecutive same vectors into one and we ensure the mapping between cohorts and phonemes by recognition loss, which maximizes the probability of outputting correct phoneme sequence. In our experiment, only one hour pair data is used for this loss. Now, by step one, we can turn an audio into a phoneme representation. To perform audio reconstruction, we need two information. One is phonetic information, and the other is speaker information. Here, we simply use a sequence-to-sequence -sequence decoder to transform phonetic and speaker information into corresponding audio. Specifically, the decoder first transforms the phoneme representation sequence into front-level hidden representation sequence. Then, a speaker affine transformation is performed, where the parameters are generated from the speaker representation. And then, the decoder output will be the reconstructed audio. Hence, having both step 1 and step 2, we can utilize our label audio data to train the model by reconstruction loss. To perform text-to-speech synthesis, we first look up the codebook and retrieve the corresponding phoneme representations. 
Afterwards, we pass the phoneme representations and speaker representation to the decoder. And we expect that the decoder outputs audio containing such phonetic and speaker information. To summarize, there are three losses in the training. The first one is the recognition loss for ensuring the mapping between coword and phoneme. The second one is the text-to-speech loss for improving the quality of the decoder output. In our experiment, we use one-hour pay data for these two doses. The third one is the reconstruction loss, which enables our model learn from unlabeled audio data. In this slide, we show the related works. The first one is speech chain, which we code ASR plus TTSU. It uses separate ASR and TTS models, and it can be viewed as our model without the learnable codebook and threaded gradient estimator for unlabeled audio data. The ASI is like our encoder, and the TTS is like our decoder. In this model, the gradients of reconstruction cannot flow back to the encoder. Thus, the reconstruction loss cannot improve the encoder model. The second one is proposed by John and others. They use Tacotron as backbone model, which is an encoder decoder model with the tension mechanism. They pre-train the encoder and decoder with unlabeled text and audio. Then, they fine-tune the model for peer data. This one is proposed by the RAN and others. They propose to jointly train a phoneme recognition model and a speech synthesis model with unlabeled audio data. However, they do not explicitly deal with the input mismatch problem of speech and natural language. Note that all this works focus on single speaker setting. In the experiment, we prepare one hour pay data for both the single speaker and multi-speaker. For unlabeled audio data, we prepare 25 hours data for multi-speaker and 23 hours data for single speaker. The multi-speaker part comes from the VCDK corpus. The single speaker part comes from the LG speech. Note that for semi-supervised methods, the speakers in test say are not in the peer training data set. To make our setting clear, we put the partition table on the upper right. With one hour multi-speaker peer data, supervised learning obtains a model that cannot generate intelligible speech. However, after utilizing unlabeled audio data, the performance of our method improves a lot. From table, we can see that the proposed method outperforms ASR plus TTS baseline. We conjecture this is because the proposed method allows the gradients to flow from the decoder through the encoder using the straight through gradient estimator, while ASR plus TTS model does not. This makes the encoder and the codebook also being updated to obtain superior representations for better audio reconstruction. To see if the model is robust for noises, we train a model with noisy unlabeled audio data. We can see that even if the unlabeled audio data are noisy, the performance is still better than the supervised one, which means it still helps the model training. And it only slightly hurts the performance when compared to the clean setting. Also, we found that model trained with single speaker pair data can perform multi-speaker synthesis. However, the model trained with multi-speaker peer data are still better than the one trained with single speaker peer data. We highlight that using only one hour peer data, we can obtain a TTS model using our proposed semi-supervised learning whose output quality is comparable with supervised learning method which uses 25 hours data. To see if the model can generate audio output of correct speaker characteristics, we let the subjects listen to two audio files. One is ground truth audio, and the other is generated audio of the same speaker. We then ask the subjects, do you think the same speaker has produced these two samples? If the model generates the audio in correct speaker style, subjects will answer, yes, they are the same. Otherwise, subjects will answer, no, they are different. We can see that the speaker similarity results align with speech quality results. That is, the higher the MLS, the more number of answers are. Yes, they are the same. 
the three cells verify our model can perform multi-speed QTT as well. Because we do not need it. Because we do not need it. Because we do not need it. How do you get it back? How did you get it back? How do you get it back? Friday night was a pretty good night. Friday night was a pretty good night. Friday night was a pretty good night. You could feel the heat. You could feel the heat. You could feel the heat.